Hi, my friends. For Reading Horizons today, we are going to start by making a list of animals that start with A, A, and B, B. For our letters that start with, or our animals that start with A, I have the word animals because animals starts with A. I have the word alligator because it starts with an A. And I have the word ant because it starts with an A. For B, I have b, b bear and b, b bat and b, b bug. Can you think of other words that will go under A for, that says A or B that says B? All right, we are going to practice writing our A's and our B's. So we're going to write an A, B pattern. If you remember, our A starts in the middle and it goes around the tree, up the tree, down the tree. And our B starts at the very top. First the bat, then the ball. And now an A again, around the tree, up the tree, down the tree. And then the B starts at the top. First the bat, then the ball. We'll make one more around the tree, up the tree, down the tree, and then start at the top, make a bat, and then a ball. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is P. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B. If we look down here, we're going to do the uppercase A, B pattern. We're going to start at the top, diagonal down, back to the top, diagonal down, and cross. That is our uppercase A. Our B is first the bat, bump, bump, back to our A. Top diagonal down, top diagonal down, and across. And our B, start at the top, bat, bump, bump. And our A, diagonal down, diagonal down, cross it. And our B, bat, bump, bump. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A. The name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B. The name of the letter is A. The sound of the letter is A. The name of the letter is B. The sound of the letter is B. The name of the letter is A. The sound of the letter is A. The name of the letter is B. The sound of the letter is B. Today, I am going to teach you something new. And I am so excited because this is the next step on being super readers. How many of you want to be super readers? I hope all of you want to be super readers. So we're going to start with a quick lesson on making an arrow. The arrow is going to be very important to learning how to put our letters together and make special sounds. So I'm going to teach you how to make a slide arrow. Our arrow is always going to point to the right. So we're going to go across and then we're going to go diagonal, diagonal. That is our slide arrow. All of our arrows are going to go to the right. It's going to start at the left and go to the right. So we're going to practice making slide arrows. So you're going to go to the right, diagonal, diagonal, right. Diagonal, diagonal, right, diagonal, diagonal. Can you make your slide angles? Arrows, sorry. All right, now that you have practiced that and if they don't quite have it yet, you can pause the video, show them again how to make the slide arrows because this is very important to the next step. All right, Mrs. Dobek's going to erase 
her slide arrows and I'm gonna show you how these slide arrows are going to work. I'm gonna teach you your very first slide. We will have 21 slides eventually, but this is your very first one. And your first one is the two letters that you have learned. It starts with the consonant B. So first a B and then the A. And then you're gonna make your slide arrow go under the B and the A. And the B says B and the A says A. And when we put them together, they say BA. The B A slide says BA. So I want you to write three B A slides. First the bat, then the ball, around the tree, up the tree, down the tree, slide. And one more bat. All right, so we're gonna say these together. B A slide says ba. B A slide says ba. B A slide says ba. Parents, we are doing it this way because when we were kids, we learned to um, read our words from the end of the word and then add the first letter but it makes more sense to teach left to right because that's how we're reading. So I'm going to be teaching your kids how to read from the beginning of the word and slide to the end of the word. So that is why we are starting with our slides now. This is the next step in reading. Please practice your BA slides and they say BA. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.